All right, guys, we have another project coming up. It's about 6,000 square feet, two stories, daylight basement. I'm heading there right now. We started excavation for the project about a couple weeks ago. The septic system is already in, water is in, the electrical is in. We dug the hole for the house. Now, we're still waiting on a couple of details to finalize the permitting process but we went ahead and dug the foundation because that part of the house is not gonna change. And so right when we get our permits, we're gonna be able to just hit the ground running. This house is gonna be really unique. We have an ICF basement along the backside because it's a daylight basement. The wall facing the backyard will be where we walk out and that's gonna be SIP panels, structurally insulated panels. And then the entire second floor is also going to be SIP. There's gonna be a little bit of timber frame involved and then the roof system is just going to be an engineered truss system. It's gonna be a really neat build. I'm excited to bring you guys along the process. All right, we are on site. I got Adam here, he's digging the hole. You might not be able to see it, on camera, because it's hard to pick up the size of this thing. The footprint's about 2,500 square feet, two stories. This is the garage area right now. Uh, but here's, here's the hole. Adam, tell us a little bit about this hole. We started with right on the edge, we were in uh, basic regular dirt. And then as we got into the corner here, it's basically uh, basalt. Uh, material it took me about uh, two weeks to go down almost 13 feet the top of the hill to the bottom and then we'll bring it back up with footings and fill and uh, put all of our uh, underground utilities sewer water etc yeah we'll backfill this all in and go from there so this section is going to be ICF the ICF will start right about this corner go over and then continue all the way to this corner here and then the, the back wall will be SIP panels. We've got a little bit more to clean out here, but uh, that'll get taken care of soon. Could you go down in the hole so we can see the, 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 uh, the size? The size. Huh? We've got to compare. Right. We're comparing the size here. Because this, this doesn't show up on camera. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. So yeah, footprint of the basement is 2,500 square feet. There'll be another 2,500 square feet on top of that. And then, yeah, the garage is just off of this side here, facing the front there, and then that'll be a shop. Uh, one thing I would say is we actually excavated about uh, 3,000 square feet. I know Josh is always looking for, you know, five to six feet of overdig. Uh, that's why this, this one's a little bit bigger. So try to do that, accommodate uh, our mason guys, um, keep, them, keep them happy. And it also helps uh, getting uh, exterior utilities inside the, inside the home. So this is all material. Again, you can't see scale unless you're on site and you're looking at it to compare it with everything. But that hole produced this material, which <laughs> will create a completely different landscape on this project. So that is where we are currently standing. There will be a lot of really cool building techniques. We have SIPs, ICF, timber frame, traditional framing for parts of the build. The roof is gonna be part metal, part comp. It's gonna be a really neat build. Very excited to share this one with you. As always, if you have any questions or if you want me to cover a certain topic more so, drop it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next update video.